So in total with food, it was 11.3k for this semester. Sheesh. Hey, what's good guys? My name is Vincent and I'm a full-time iOS engineer. I've been getting a lot of comments recently asking about how much it cost me to go to university. I didn't find any videos out there where anyone broke down the cost of tuition along with the cost of living away from home. So I thought I would do a video to break down my tuition, housing plus food costs, and also briefly touch upon how co-op really helped me out. So I am originally from Toronto, and I went to the University of Waterloo from 2014 to 2019. I initially applied for computer science with an 88 average, and unfortunately, I did not get in. Waterloo is a super competitive school. During my first computer science class, I asked a few classmates about what average they had when they applied for the University of Waterloo. And a lot of them said high 90s, where some even said close to 99 to 100. Jeez. To me, that sounds crazy because to get close to 100, that person must be really perfect. But I guess that's why Waterloo is known as the number one school for computer science, engineering, and mathematics based on McLean's 2021. So if you're applying to Waterloo, please do make sure to have a chat with your teachers to see if they can bump your marks up. Even if it's a small 1%, that bump can really make a difference. Also, based on my girlfriend, who did a co-op in the computer science recruiting department, she mentioned that when students have the same marks, the next criteria that the school looks at is your extracurriculars and also your side projects. So please do add that to your application so that way you can get some bonus brownie points. Anyways, back on topic. So I didn't get into computer science, but I did get deferred to an alternative program called Geomatics, which also included co-op. At first, like any high schooler, I was pretty bummed out. My other options were either Ryerson for computer science or York University for software engineering. I didn't really know what to do, but I have an older sister who studied honors science at the University of Waterloo. She had a lot of freedom and I also wanted that. Plus I heard that co-op was very important to help land the first job after university. Hence I took the offer. So I didn't really enjoy geomatics that much and I actually went in with the goal of transferring to computer science. Just an FYI, based on TikTok, Everyone has been saying that it's nearly impossible to transfer to computer science now. So unless if you want to be a risk taker like me, feel free to follow my path. But don't expect it to be an easy one. Just a quick note, it's not the end of the world if you're in geomatics. I have a friend who did software engineering co-ops in California as a geomatics major. So as long as you have co-op, you can apply to any jobs that you wish. One thing that I'd like to mention is that because I enrolled into the school with co-op, I was able to transfer into computer science with co-op. Whereas, I've met some people who transferred from other programs to computer science. And because they did not have co-op before, it was pretty much a lottery for them, and many of them did not get co-op. So if you want to transfer with co-op, please make sure that you're already enrolled in a program that already has co-op. Anyways, let's talk about tuition. So money has always been tight with my family, so I didn't really want to rely on my parents for my education. However, my parents did save up close to around $10,000, which was super helpful for paying my first semester. After that, I did apply for OSAP, which is basically borrowing money from the government to help pay for tuition. So I logged into my school's account. It's been a while and they also had a lot of updates. I found all of my tuition receipts and let's go through each one together. Fall 2014. For my first semester, I was in the environment faculty for geomatics. I lived on campus in B1, which cost roughly around 3.1K and the meal plan was mandatory since this residence did not include a kitchen. So I had to pay an extra 2K on top of that. The actual tuition was just 3K. There are also a lot of added fees, which you can actually opt out of if you wish. If I remember correctly, I just Googled each fee and decided whether I should have contributed or not. I also want to note that I had to pay for co-op as well, which was around $256. Anyways, I did get a scholarship in my first year, so that helped covered a good 1.5K. So in total, my tuition for semester one is roughly 7.3K. For semester two in winter 2015, for this semester, I was still in the environment faculty, but this time I had an undeclared major because I was in the process of transitioning to computer science. And depending on my marks, I could have messed up my university career. Tuition was also around 3K, and for some reason, rent was cheaper this semester, so in total, I paid around 7.6K. Semester three, summer 2015. This semester, I finally transferred to the math faculty as a computer science student. Yay for me. So tuition was around 5.5K and I had to pay for co-op which was around $650 plus the Fed co-op fee of $250.
so in total, roughly $900 just for co-op. The tuition for this semester was roughly 6.75k, and for this semester, I finally moved out of residence, so I found a place to live with two other friends where we paid roughly $300 per month, which was considered cheap for the summer, so the total for rent was roughly $1,200, which wasn't that bad. And for food, I didn't really keep all my receipts, nor do I remember how much I spent on groceries or how many times I ate out. So let's be conservative and say that I spent $100 per week. So that brings my food cost to a total of $1,600 per semester. And let's try to stay consistent and use this number for the rest of the calculations. So in total for this semester, I paid around 9.55K. Next, semester four, winter 2016. Tuition was around 6K. The co-op fee was around $900 again. In total for this semester, it's 7.4K. For rent this semester, I found a place for $400 a month. So that will be a total of $1,600 for the semester. And for food, based on the previous calculation, it will be another $1,600. So in total, this semester, I paid around 10.6K. Sheesh. That's actually a lot of money for four months. Semester five, fall 2016. So this semester was around 7.4K again and rent and food stayed the same. So in total, it was roughly around 10.6K. Next, semester six, spring 2017. So the total for tuition was around 7K. And since it was summer, I was able to find a cheap room for $300 a month. So my rent was roughly $1,200. So in total with food, it was 9.8K. Next, we have semester seven in winter 2018. So the total for tuition was 8.1K. Rent was $400 per month. So in total with food, it was 11.3K for this semester. Sheesh. And I think this is the highest I paid compared to the eight semesters I did. Finally, for my last semester, winter 2019. So I did two calls back to back before this term, hence why I had a one year gap with school. My final tuition was 5.6K. I decided this semester to live at home in Toronto and I set my schedule up so that I only had to be on campus three times a week. So I basically drove to school and saved on rent. I also carpooled students back and forth, which helped me cover for gas. And also since I lived at home, my parents cooked me food, so I didn't spend as much on food other than eating out with friends. So if you want to be conservative here with how I spent money on food, let's just say I spent $100 per month, then that means my total cost would be 6K for this semester. Wow, great. So this is amazing. I've never added up my tuition before. I always just had a rough idea, but damn, was this an expensive degree. In total, I spent roughly 72.75K on this degree. Sheesh. And this does not account for any fun activities I did, the money I spent on booze, or even the equipment I bought for school. I guess my 8K per semester was off by a good 8K. So I was actually very conservative on rent as I picked places that were relatively cheaper. I have friends who had fancier rooms with ensuite bathrooms and they were paying north of $600 per month. It was definitely a trade-off that I had to make because I did have to deal with some messy roommates and also some very dirty washrooms. But in the end, I spent most of my time on campus so I couldn't really justify spending north of $600 per month on rent. So I have graphed all these numbers up on Excel. So the computer science degree itself is just around 50K and it seems like rent and food accounts for another 22.75K. So if you do plan to move out away from home for school, please do also consider the extra cost that will be incurred. In the end, co-op really helped me out and I was able to pay for my own tuition and also living expenses without depending on OSAP. If you're wondering how much you can make during co-op, you can refer to this chart provided by the school. It seems pretty conservative based on the salaries, but it is very accurate. Based on these numbers, a student can make roughly $30 an hour in their senior year, which basically equates to about 4.8K per month, which is around 19.2K per co-op. And obviously, after paying taxes and living expenses and any other stuff, a student can definitely pay for their semester's tuition rent, and food. Thanks to co-op, I was able to live in three different cities, Toronto, New York City, and also San Francisco. I was also able to secure a full-time job after graduating, so it was definitely worth it. One thing to note is that I did not work at a big fang company. Rather, I worked at a lot of startups, so you definitely don't need to work at these big companies to make enough money to cover tuition. In addition, thanks for co-op, I did have some leftover money where I was able to pay my parents back for that initial 10K that they gave me for my first semester. If you're interested to learn more about how much money I made for each co-op, 
feel free to drop a comment. And if I see enough interest, I will definitely try to find some time to make another video to cover this. To end this video, I just want to say Co-op is a great opportunity to help you gain real life skills and to also potentially help you graduate debt free. Going to university is definitely very expensive, but if you do spend time to search and apply for scholarships, which I didn't, I'm sure that you'll be able to find some great coupons. One last note, you can also apply for summer internships. So if you are not enrolled in a co-op program, this will be a great use of your summer where you can gain experience and also make some side cash. Thanks for watching. I hope that this video was very informative and I wish you the best of luck on your university journey. Peace.